exercise, you'll need two dumbbells. I'll show you that in just a second. We'll start with our feet parallel, hip width apart, knees soft, squeeze your glutes, and engage your core. Draw your shoulders down and back and open your chest. Place your arms by your side with your elbows softly bent and palms facing toward each other with your hands just slightly forward of your legs without letting your back arch or the tension to be lost between your shoulder blades. Okay, from here we'll inhale and now exhale, raise your arms to an angle making a V with your arms so that they're at about a 45 degree angle on each side. Raise your arms up to the height of your shoulders, no higher than that, doesn't need to go higher, right? And if you can't go that high, then you can always raise them up to a lower range of motion. So with the weights, be soft, get into form, shoulders back, palms face toward each other to start. Here we go, exhale, inhale, and now exhale, making that V, keeping our elbows soft as we lift. You'll feel this primarily through the front of your shoulders. Last couple notes here, make sure that you are not using momentum through your body, movement through your body, or an arched back to create this motion. This is coming from those shoulders, so keep everything else nice and stable as you lift and lower. Keep your shoulders down. We're not using the muscles of our neck to help us lift and maintain tension throughout this exercise. What do I mean by that? When you come down, don't go into full rest, right? Keep your arms here at the bottom, raise them up, lower down, and you will feel that your shoulders are still working at the bottom of this move. This does require you to be lifting your arms further away from your body, so I recommend going with a lighter weight to start. You can always progress upward, and if you cannot maintain proper form for this exercise in the way that I've described, go with a lighter weight 